do not touch. Caution, extremely spicy. I don't think this is a good idea anymore. Oh my, woo, I smell the peppers. Oh yeah, this is a bad idea. Flashback. Hey everyone, so that's it. For today's video, we're gonna be in DuPont, Washington. Going to do a spicy chicken sandwich. This is a Carolina Reaper chicken sandwich. Also made with ghost peppers, Trinidad scorpion peppers, habaneros, jalapenos, probably other peppers, but long story short, very spicy chicken sandwich. So this is a pretty crazy chicken sandwich. You only have five minutes to complete it, and then you have a three minute afterburn, which means you have a period of no drinks, no other foods, so basically just pain. Um, so the sandwich is free if we complete it, but it is only 13 bucks should we fail, which is very, very reasonable. So we're going to a place called Tin Hut Barbecue that is in DuPont, Washington, based in the Tacoma, Washington area. Um, that's pretty much what I know about it. I think it's called the Tin Reaper Challenge or something along those lines. Tim, 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 Tim. I think Tin, like Tin Hut, Tim Reaper Challenge, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, long story short, spicy chicken sandwiches, Carolina Reaper, this is going to be pretty crazy. Apparently it's pretty spicy. Um, but I don't know too much else about it. So let's go have some fun, eat some food. Um, probably actually have to eat some food because I can't really do spicy food in empty stomach. Um, but yeah, barbecue. I like barbecue and uh, I like, well, I kind of like spicy. So that's about as fun as food. And that, let's go eat. So like we said, you can't have spicy food on an empty stomach. So I got like a little bit of, well, pretty much everything. Like the barbecue platter here. I do love me some barbecue. I have some of their pulled pork. I have their sausage. I this is kind of like a hot link. I have some of their tri-tip, which looks really, really nice actually. I love the look of this tri-tip. It almost reminds me kind of like a bit of like a brisket-ish vibe. You know, just the way it looks. Nice little uh, color to it. Got some of their award-winning ribs. These are pork ribs. Um, if they are a, we'll say it's like a St. Louis cut, but they remind me of a, of a baby back. It's like a very, like, I want to say leaner slash nicely trim cut. We have some of their brisket here. So now it's really interesting is they don't do a sliced brisket. They do a, uh, like a pulled brisket or chopped brisket. I guess chopped is a better way to put it. So it's pretty cool. Um, I guess this started in Hawaii. Like they originated in Hawaii and they started with a chopped brisket. Um, and it's just kind of something which kept and is here today, which is pretty sweet. I have some other lovely green beans. Now these things look crazy because there is so much bacon and stuff in it and they smoke the bacon, which looks great. I have some of their spicy beans. I have uh, just some uh, basically broccoli and cauliflower, which is great. Vegetables for the kids, gotta set an example. And some other pineapple coleslaw. I gotta set an example for the kids. Oh, here, and I do have some of their sauces. I have their um, standard Tin Hut barbecue sauce, which I look forward to trying. And then I have some of their uh, chipotle, uh, which is, I guess, a little bit of a spiced up version of the barbecue sauce. And I have a little salt as well, in case I want it. But I'm gonna start with the veggies for the children. There are some children over there. Eat your veggies, kids. They're just kind of awkwardly staring at me and saying, why is there a guy with a camera talking and eating food? But nonetheless, so I have some uh, broccoli cauliflower. And you know what? It tastes like a lovely broccoli cauliflower. Now we set an example for the kids. I'll probably continue with that. I'll try these crazy little green beans out. This is like a saute green bean. Again, huge chunks of this like lovely kind of smoked bacon. Great texture. I'll dump it. Try the bacon out. Oh wow, this is a porky bacon. That kind of sounds obvious, but like really smoky, I guess. It's a really thick cut, too. Mm -hmm. Can anything taste wrong with, like, bad with bacon? If you can think of something which is bad with bacon, let me know in a comment down below. I'll try the pineapple coleslaw as well. This is pretty cool. Did you put a pineapple in it? Cause it's a nice look, look in a fresh slaw. Did you just make the dressing? Yeah. Looks really good. Mmm. Taste the pineapple. It's quite forward along with some lovely like black pepper. Yeah, lots of pineapple. Well, and I'll add it. Might as well try these beans out. Look good. And they got bacon in these beans as well. So they make this bean sauce. And there's definitely a punch, punch of sugar there. But I really like it. Maybe it's cardamom, something. There's a lovely little spice there. 
What kind of spice are in those, my friend? Salt, pepper, paprika, cinnamon. Oh, man, it's cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. It tastes nice, though. All right. Now let's try these meats. Trying these ribs. So these ribs look nice. They are smoked um, with a, just a mixture of different uh, woods. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is tender. Mm. Very, very tender rib. Like, look at that meat just ripped from that bone. Mm. I like it. It's a mild smoke. And these are really nice ribs. I actually like them. Like I said, incredibly, incredibly nice and soft. Maybe I'll try a little bit of the, uh, the sauce. Try with their standard, the Tin Hut Classic. Just kind of squirt that on there. Mmm, this is a nice sauce. What I love about it is a really nice bit of vinegar in it. Great flavor. Try with the Chipotle. Very similar. No complaints. Oh, let's try the tri-tip. Why not? It's a lovely looking tri-tip up in here. Let's we'll see what it's all about. Mm. It's a lovely smoked meat. The flavor, that beef is great. You get a little salt action going here. It's like a, it's like a tri-tip. How can you go wrong? Mm. Smoked beef. I like it. Yeah. No complaints for me. Now we can do all the hand. Well, here we'll try sausage. Try this lovely hot link. Look good. Kind of cured. Kind of paprika to it. Mm. A little bit of heat. Not bad. Let's we'll grab a little cold sauce. Cleanse that palate. Mm. Green beans or two. Woo. Try the pulled pork. And we'll try this brisket. So let's have the brisket for last. Brisket's one of my favorites. I think cow tastes delicious. First, let's try this pulled pork just by itself. Yeah, soft tender pork, very light on the smoke. Well, that way, it'll definitely serve all palates. Maybe a little bit of the sauce on it. Saucy pulled pork action. Blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Mmm. Bam. Woo! Look at that sauce. It makes it come alive. Like, there's a really nice bit of acidity to it. Definitely nice and sweet. Which is definitely, there's a little bit of sauce. Really ignites it. Now, last but not least, let's try this brisket out. I am excited to try it. What is up? Chopped brisket. We'll do some nice little barky bits on here. Smells good. Let's see what it's all about. Okay. Yeah, similar. It's a real gentle smoke. I'm gonna serve most palates. It's not like a heavy, you know, Texas style or anything like that. Mmm. A little salt. Really ignite that, ignited that flavor. And it's just nice fatty. You ever get that richness? I'll try a little sauce just for the sake of it. That's very damn good. I don't think anything go wrong with that sauce. Well, nothing go wrong with that sauce. Very good. Anyway, that being said, I think we got enough food in the stomach. Let's get on to a uh, spicy Ooh, chicken sandwich. Everybody, so here we are with the Tin Reaper Challenge, which is a lot more crazier than I actually thought it was. So, what it is here is we have a house made ciabatta bun. So, I thought it would be like a round chicken sandwich. This is a pretty dang sizable ciabatta bun with a massive piece of chicken on here. Again, big old, it is a thigh, um, not only marinated in the Tin Reaper sauce after it was smoked but then doused in the Tin Reaper sauce, normally with the lettuce and tomatoes on it. Um, I actually added pickles and onions. I thought it would be good to maybe add flavor, but then I also didn't realize it was on this size of a ciabatta bun. I thought it was like a little round chicken sandwich. So I probably maybe just added more food, which is probably not the best idea. Oh, yeah, I just almost tried to drink with a lid. 
So I'm a little, little nervous, a little preoccupied, let's just say, with the like amount of peppers and Carolina Reapers and ghost peppers and Trinidad Scorpion peppers in this sauce. Uh, as soon as they like, opened up the lid of this stuff, I was like, woo, it hits you a little bit like a train. But there's also, I guess, some habaneros and jalapenos and other sauces or other like flavors in here. So they say like, it's not pure heat, but it pops a little like a punch in the face. No, wait, that's not right. It is pure heat, but there's a little bit of flavor. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't, there's not like, it's not pure acid, I guess. Like it, it's, it, they say it tastes good. Do I believe them? I don't know. The other food is good. Nah, I'm a little skeptical of how this is gonna taste. But like you said, 13 bucks, um, three minute afterburn after we complete it. So that means no drinks, no other foods, no anything else. So I'll enjoy this last swig of water while I can. I guess we might as well get started. Ah, uh, this is gonna be interesting. <clears throat> you gonna do this? Nah, no, I'm good. You're good, okay. <laughs> There you go. Glad you're good. I'm probably not going to be good here in a minute. <laughs> but right now I'm good too. All right, so um, how do we get started? Um, maybe we will say... Seriously? Wow. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's get started. I would say maybe the count of... Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Oh man. <laughs> oh boy. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to inhale it. Oh my god. Wow. Ah, and it's uh, that ciabatta bun. Man, that makes it like a whoosh, that's blah, 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 blah. Hold up. Let me, let me just shut up and eat. I gotta yeah, eat this. Yeah. Oh, man, that's hot. Woo! Ah! Oh, man. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, wow, that is, uh, whoo, man, I feel the endorphins rushing on that. Um, uh, and, uh, woo, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we take on a very crazy spicy chicken sandwich. So here we are with the Tin Reaper Challenge, and I think it's a very suiting name, being this thing definitely is deathly. Ah, woo. I gotta get some rock action going. Oh. Ah. Okay, so. Uh, I don't know. Come out, I think we're coming in two minutes, so I better start beating. Oh my god. So this sandwich has a lot of difficulty, and that even goes beyond just the five minute time limit. Having it on that kind of ciabatta bun makes it a lot more difficult to eat compared to like a standard kind of, uh, we'll say burger bun. Oh man. Woo. Yeah, that got some heat, guys. That got some heat. Oh, that's really building. Woo. It definitely is a punch in the face. And a ciabatta bun. You get just like a, a little denser, a little chewier. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Okay, hold on, it's getting way worse. Oh man, it's, uh, it causes it to stick in your mouth a little bit like longer and chew longer. Uh, okay, bad idea. Sure's a bad idea. Hold on. Oh man. Woo! This is a... Uh, which I found really caused you to do a lot more chewing and the spice to have to kind of linger in your mouth a lot longer. Uh, this is regrettable. Sure you don't want to bite? Nah, no, 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 no. Making this a lot more difficult than a lot of standard chicken sandwiches that I can kind of just like eat and chew and swallow and then, you know, it's kind of out of your mouth. This had to be chewed and chewed and chewed. Uh, 
Thank you. I'm glad somebody believes in you. Woo. Oh, man. Alright, listen, I'm gonna finish I'm gonna comment on the song there, but <laughs> hold up guys. This is so hot. I'm spitting all over the place. Oh man. Alright. Yeah, actually in the shop. Oh God, Whew, that's done, right? Yep. Yeah, all right, three minutes, guys. Woo wee. Okay, uh, now this will come out of me, this freaking uh, Reaper of a, woo. Uh, guys, uh, I really just tried to shove and eat for that because man, we barely beat that. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, oh, oh my jump. Wait, it's hot. It's hot in the mouth, it's hot in the esophagus, it's hot in the stomach. That's hot, but yeah, everything. You should have said, uh, uh, it said don't stop believing, it should have said don't stop the eating. <laughs> totally missed opportunity for you. Oh my God, hoo wee, Jesus, oh wee. Ah, man, that is, uh, whew. that is not fun, that is painful. Two minutes and 15 seconds left, okay, whew. Um, all right, so uh, it's quick. Um, yeah, I don't think the pickles are under its help at all. If anything, it made it worse because there was more chewing, especially the onion. So maybe don't do that. Be smarter than me. Um, the ciabatta bun was definitely made it more, like, because it's denser. It let you run your mouth more. So I really couldn't eat it that quickly as I thought I thought was going to be able to. Woo! So it's, uh, it's hot. Oh, man, I'm actually spitting all over the place. I'm going to try not to do that. Uh, but, oh, man, that is bad. Oh, and right here. Ooh, right in this obvious. Uh, ah, this is not fun. Now yeah, you said like there's a, in the sauce you put a whole cup of freaking reaper powder, is that right? That's nuts. Uh, and what, and, and uh, it goes, it's scorpion. What else do you put in it? Trinidad scorpion, yeah. uh, saute, habaneros, and jalapenos. Okay. And for the sweetest portion, it's uh, full Really? Uh, mango, papaya, uh -huh. and dragon. Well, apparently there's Really, all that? All that. Ah, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wouldn't know. There's a, there's some heat to it. I mean, there's a little sweetness, but uh, bleh. my palate, when it's burning with Reaper, is not able to identify pineapple and mango and dragon fruit. <laughs> that's some intricate fruits, man. I guess Hawaii roots, maybe. Maybe that's why. Oof. But uh, yeah, that's hot, 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 hot. That's one thing I say for sure. So. Uh, Woo, man. Man, that was a uh, hot jump. I probably should let it on, because I don't want to touch any of this. I don't want this in my face. I don't want this in my, my I don't want this by anything. It's already in my mouth, my body, I guess, but I don't want it anywhere else. All right, 22 seconds. Yeah, so, woo. Um, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right. Uh, all right. 10 seconds, but one thing's for sure, guys. I have an endorphin rush, man. There is, that is a hit for sure. I find it crazy how some, uh, ooh, some different challenge hit you different. This one's definitely better. Good to go. Three minutes. Woo, okay. Did I touch the bottle with the, I don't think I touched the bottle until they started. All right, so. Okay, I would take a little sip of this, baby. May it be a good. It still sucks. <laughs> Still sucks. Can somebody give me like a little bit of Diet Pepsi? Like that much? A little bit? Is it glass? Or a bottle? I guess that works too. Thank you. Ooh, nonetheless. Thank you. I'm hoping a little bit of acidity may help a little bit. Oh man, that's hot, guys. Right here in the gut. Hopefully, I, hope, yeah, it's right there. Hopefully, I ate enough. But, uh, I should Maybe we should order more of everything. Because uh, I don't know, guys. I don't want that to. 
This uh, uh, the spicy energy stuff is really bad for me. I get a uh, oh no, maybe the carbonation is not good. That just feels hot. Uh, it just kind of makes it burn more. Uh, maybe that was the best idea. All right. Yeah, not the best idea. Ah, uh, yeah, la la la. All right. Don't drink the bad Pepsi after. Back off. It makes it like re hot. But uh, with that, everybody, if I'm doing the sandwich for free, which is pretty cool, we did successfully complete the challenge. Um, that was hot. Put it that way. Uh, but thanks to everybody here at Tin Hut. DuPont. DuPont. Washington. Tacoma, which is Tacoma area, is that fair to say? South Tacoma. South Tacoma, that's what I call it. It's like uh, about 20, maybe 20 minutes away, right outside Tacoma. Very friendly people here, by the way. So that's been great. We have a uh, big, uh, big military push. I guess they started in Hawaii, came here for what, 10, 12, 13, 14 years? Which one? 15. 15, there you go. I like how I said that and they said yes. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Maybe my questions are not straightforward right now, but I'll take the blame for that. So 15 years, guys. Woo, they've been here. The gentleman uh, owned by a military uh, vet, so thank you for your service. Appreciate you guys. Thanks to everybody in the military. It's a big, a big, uh, a big military area, I guess. And they made this challenge because they said all the army guys really like spicy stuff. So, well, I tell you what, guys, you can, uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they did it well, they did it well. But uh, yeah, so uh, with that, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of dying right now. But uh, it was hot, definitely, quite a challenge. Uh, oh, excuse me, uh, that was a little spicy, a little spicy. Yeah, comments the chef, even though I kind of, no, I'm just kidding. It was good. What I will say is the, uh, the bit of the chicken I tasted it was really, really nice, actually. The smoked chicken, I like the, uh, it was a good flavor. After a while, it just tasted like pain, but it was fairly good. But, uh, no, and, and honestly, I'll even say, like, the flavor was, like, it was good. Like, in the sense of, uh, I mean, it comes to a point where it just kind of hurts, but, but, uh, but it didn't taste like acid or anything, you know? It wasn't just like Reapers, which Reapers taste disgusting, by the way. But they anyway. It was good tasting. So, uh, yeah, thanks everybody here. Appreciate you guys. And uh, thanks to those guys who hung around to watch. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I mean, come by. Maybe try like a normal chicken sandwich, you know? I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna encourage anybody to try the challenge, but if you want to, you can, I guess. Do, do they need like advance notice? Yes. Yeah, advance notice. It's one day. One day. All right, so same as me then, so. All right, I didn't know if I needed it, but I called ahead, so. Anyway, guys, and that, so next time, of course, uh, just, uh, I don't know what to say. I totally just forgot my outro. I'm not, I'm totally not, like, these endorphins, I am not sober right now. Am I able to drive? Is there something against driving, like, high on peppers? No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, and we really ate animals today. Joelitz.com, grab some merch. I'm not that messed up. Long story short, uh, of course, they have a happy eating. Till next time, I remember to don't do what I do and have a good day. Yeah, you don't be dead quiet. You sound like a restaurant. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> except go, go, go. <laughs> If you want, except bark like a dog. One time I told I told somebody, I was like, guys, you do whatever you want. She started barking like a dog. And I did not, I, I still don't understand. Like, hey, well, freedom, I did say, do whatever you want. I give it to her, but maybe refrain from barking like a dog. Everything else is, Everything else is great. Just maybe, <laughs> again, the barking like a dog. Yeah. Oh, hey. But to each their own, you know what I mean? I'm not judging, I'm just saying, it, admittedly, that was a little, I was not expecting that. It's a little distracting. Everybody, the time has come. 
not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.